Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory, and today I'm with Ala Weinstein, founder and CEO of Trident Winds. Ala, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. Why don't we start off with you telling us a bit about your company, Trident Winds. Who are you and what do you do? Trident Winds was established in 2015 as a follow-up to my prior company that developed floating offshore wind technology. In 2008, Principal Power, which was the company that was co-founded prior to Trident Winds, initiated development of a floating offshore wind, which was a derivative of a small oil and gas platform. The reason why we did what we did is because in my prior life, I realized that the ocean can provide us more renewable energy than we need. And so it was important to find methods and technology that would be able to capture the energy that's available offshore. And without having technology that could be installed in deep water, we couldn't really talk about major or you know worldwide development of offshore wind. We developed a technology called the wind float. The wind float has now largest amount of installed capacity anywhere around the world. It was the second floating offshore wind technology demonstration project and prototype that was installed. And so in 2015, when I left Principal Power, you know, you look around and say, okay, great technology, terrific, wonderful. It's doing what it's supposed to do, but where is the market? We need to create the market. And so the purpose of establishing Trident Winds was to create the market for floating offshore wind with a focus on West Coast of the United States. Looking at the West Coast, you know, you very quickly recognize that the largest market on the West Coast is going to be California. In 2015, California adopted a bill that required utilities to reach its 50% generation from clean energy by 2035. And by the time all the work that was done to get things going in California, they passed another bill called SB100 that now requires utilities to get to clean energy and reduction of emission by 2045, such that uh, energy generation would be 100% clean energy. That only solidified the initiative that we have to start developing markets, and that's what led to creation of Trident Winds. So a long history there. And what would you say makes your company unique? Deep understanding of floating offshore wind. And maybe even more significant is the importance of stakeholder relations and recognition that without stakeholders being on board, projects don't happen. And that's exactly what was done when Trident Winds put together a joint venture initially with the NBW, then it became with Total Energies. The joint venture was called Castle Wind. Between the time of the unsolicited lease request and the auction that was held in California at the end of last year, we brought the stakeholders on board. You know, now the whole Central California knew what floating offshore wind is all about, what it could provide in terms of energy generation, economic benefits, labor benefits. And what is your opinion of offshore wind? Floating offshore wind is the future of offshore wind. I have absolutely no doubt that we need all the renewable energy we can muster right now. We need all the renewable energy in the meantime to get us from here to there. California has recently auctioned off 370,000 acres of the ocean. How do you think these sites would best be utilized? The overall area that's available to the developers is going to dictate how much energy you, they will be able to extract. The three sites that were auctioned out in Central California is probably all we're going to see for the foreseeable future because of the conflicting uses of space around them between the sanctuaries, Department of Defense activities, fishing activities, restoration activities, fish habitat, and all the other constraints. Even if you develop develop those sites, they will effectively replace and probably suppress the generation of the Diablo Canyon power plant, which is significant. You can replace one generation with the other effectively, except from the clean energy source. So that's important because when the Diablo Canyon power plant retirement was announced, people were looking and saying, what are we going to do? You know, 1,500 people work at Diablo Canyon plant. Where are they going to go? Well, now offshore wind as a new industry will be able to absorb all those people plus add, add additional job creation that will become literally an economic engine for St. Louis Obispo County. 
Why are projects like this significant? They generate a lot more energy that you can generate on land. In fact, in California, there are really no more places left to generate wind energy because all the best ones are taken and through the desert renewable conservation efforts, there is really no more place to put onshore wind. So offshore wind gives you an opportunity to bring a very significant resource that before California didn't even know it existed. So in the next seven to 10 years, we're going to see close to five gigawatts of installed capacity of offshore wind. Each gigawatt will provide energy to about 300,000 households. Thank you, Ala. It was great chatting with you today about Trident Winds and the benefits of offshore wind projects. Pleasure to be here and look forward to speaking with you again. And thank you for watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. We hope that you like this video and share it out to your networks. Of course, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos. We'll see you next time.